Look at that, gorgeous. This is just our normal. <laughs> Seriously, now I've got to climb down this ladder. This is not what we need right before we're leaving the boat. Do you think it's a simple project? No, scratch that. Nothing is simple. The countdown is on. We're trying to get everything done before we leave the boat. What are you doing down here, Jeffy? Waiting for the epoxy for a few more minutes here. Yep. Playing your game. What's that called again? Uh, Rocket League Side is what I think it's called. <laughs> Rocket League. Do you guys play this game? It's actually really hilarious. It's a bunch of um, cars. Yeah, they're cars and you can like soup them up and stuff. And then you just go and go after a soccer ball and hit the soccer ball with your car and you want to shoot it into a net and then you get points for your team. And it's actually pretty hilarious. <laughs> so let's just go and take a quick look at our view that we have now from up in the treetops. Oh shoot, we got someone going by. Is he fishing? I think so. Anyways, okay, so here's our view coming out of the cockpit. We have the treetops. We have our water view, look at that. Wow, gorgeous. We are up here amongst the other boats with torn canvas and tarp covered and yeah. Oh yes, and we have the highway bridge up here and it's kind of loud, but what can you do? One thing that I'm a little bit afraid of though is how far down it is to get to the ground from up here because we have a five and a half foot keel um so yeah we have this ladder set up here we have this little rope that we put there so we can haul ourselves up when we get to the top it's a little bit precarious <laughs> that's boat life for you oh god watch out for this rope that one is holding us over to the jack stand here <sighs> made it. It's just about a 15 second walk over to the boaters lounge here for the restrooms. All right, this is our lounge in here. It's nice that they have a sink to do some dishes at, lots of books. They're doing some renovations in here, a new shower is being put in. There is a laundry back in there and then a bathroom but you can't come in there. Sorry. Doing some extra epoxy work here. Gonna put it down the holes up in the bow from the old windlass. These holes, as you may remember, they're putting the epoxy in here. Jeff has made a plug in there. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. It's also using this little drinking straw from a juice box to stir the epoxy mixture once it's in there to get the air out. Just like that. Because there's a big gap underneath there. There's a gap in there? Mm -hmm. Where we put the discs. Oh, underneath. So I'm knocking the air out. This is just our normal. <laughs> Jeff also just finished putting these fiberglass discs up on the ceiling to go above those other two holes that I showed you up there a minute ago. Wow, he made those everyone. And that one, now it looks like it's always been there. How the heck does he know how to do all of this? I don't understand. Wow. Peekaboo. Hi. <laughs> How's it going? It's kind of fashion this so it sits in here like that. Oh. Um, so this is where the foot pedal is gonna be going for the windlass. Jeff was thinking that we can't just have the foot pedal down on here on the bear because that would leave a gap around the outside where water would be able to get in. So now he's fashioned this block 
and then we will um, screw the foot pedal down into it and then seal this block to the deck so that no water will get in. Okay, I just needed to share what happened right now because it was completely and utterly ridiculous. I'm just doing some sewing projects and making some hatch covers and I was just coming outside with one of those little barrel locks, sorry for the noise, and uh, I was just walking out here on the deck and um, I fumbled a little bit, I'm fine, but uh, I dropped the barrel lock and guess where I dropped it? Down the hole. Seriously? It's not like I have an unlimited supply of these things. So now I gotta go down there to try to find where it hopefully landed on the ground somewhere. First, I decided to use a flashlight, to shine it down the hole to see if I can see it anywhere in there, just in case it's right, right at the top here and I can extract it somehow. But no luck, it's not there. Seriously, now I gotta climb down this ladder, look on the ground to try to find a black item that's small. God, here we this go. This is what I'm working with here. <laughs> it would have come shooting out of this hole right here. It couldn't have bounced too far. Oh, no, that's not it. Okay, to be continued here. Not what we need right before we're leaving the boat. I don't want it to have gotten stuck in there. And then it's going to block up our drains. We had a clothespin in there last time from someone else, a previous owner's, and now we're gonna have a freaking barrel lock in there because of me. Uh, Jeff is not gonna be too happy. <laughs> Mission unsuccessful. I'm gonna have to wait for Jeff to get back and we can use the shop vac. He'll be up there putting the shop vac on the, the drain and I'll be down here looking for anything to shoot out. There's one more example about how everything is harder when you're on a boat. Nothing is ever easy. Do you think it's a simple project? No. Scratch that, nothing is simple. There's always five different steps to it and then you think that there's five? No, there's 10. I think I do have some more barrel locks. I just don't have a lot of them. So hold on to it like gold. Don't drop it this time, Kristen. As expected, Jeffy's not very happy with me. Yep. Got it. You freaking little bugger, you. Man. I'm gonna sit here quietly now and not cause any more trouble. So the case of the lost barrel lock has now turned into a whole new plumbing project. Trying to figure out what this is for and why it's here, where it did belong at one point. And so now Jeff is in there as per his usual position. And uh, now we're doing that. So my sewing will have to be on hold again. Okay, so some plumbing changes need to be made here. That's the old bilge pump. We have a spare, this one still works, so we'll keep it. But if we follow the drain line, one inch, we have whatever this is underneath here. Kind of an odd connector, I'm not sure if it's any use. This one, which I believe is a check valve, I think this is inch and a half because I know this is inch and a quarter and you can see that it's kind of really flared out here and I think these are inch and a half fittings by whale so if we can reduce some complexity in there that seems wise. Other than that these two breathers are for the fuel tank, primary fuel tank so it's interesting because this fitting looks horrible, horrible condition. Those I think are blocked up on the outside, so it's kind of interesting, but not really necessary anymore anyways. Ooh, lots of work has been done up here the last couple of days. Basically, I finished the fiberglassing on the inside of the boat and the outside of the boat. And this morning I came and sanded it down as flush as I could. I used the stick here, mixing stick, across to try and get it as level as I could. And then I, uh, yeah, basically cleaned it up with some acetone and I got some two-part uh, mixing epoxy. It was like a fairing compound from Total Boat called Total Fair, I think. Yep. There's a yellow component, a blue component. You mix them together until you get the green and then you spread it on. And uh, now when this sets up, I'll just sand that again, try and get as level as I can. 
and after that it'll be ready for a couple coats of epoxy. You just need epoxy so it's like a barrier coat. And then we can paint it white and uh, so many steps just to do this remotely properly. I was gonna put a little wood block there and I've decided, you know what, it's just it's just too much fuss. So I'm gonna put the waterproof switch just down in here. Mm -hmm. There'll be this black sealant around the outside of this lip and there'll be a small catchment area and it's just gonna be what it is. So it'll have to evaporate out of there after. Hopefully we'll come off in a year. So in which case, it'll yeah. be no big deal. It should survive that long, no problem. It's another big job. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> lots going on lots here on Jogo. Yeah. Yep, here. On the hard. Some more spring cleaning. Have some a bucket of water here with some vinegar, dish soap, and I'm just gonna be going around cleaning. Aft cabin. demonstrate for you the most simplest of tasks when you live in a house not so simple when you live on a boat I just did laundry and we have this big duvet now I need to fit the duvet in the cover in a tiny space let's see how it goes let's see how long it takes me These are the things that you really take for granted. Annoying tasks at home are a hundred times more annoying in a boat. <sighs> My back's starting to hurt. <laughs> this is a really long video. Okay, here's the magic. Get in there. Oh God. <laughs> Fluff up. I'm kind of out of breath. Really, why does it have to be this hard? I'm not doing this on purpose. This is literally how it's going right now. Come on. <laughs> I think I got it. <sighs> Cleaning out the valve. ready for uh, leaving the boat. Pump out all the nasty stuff that's left in there, just in case. We don't want any dying sea life. <laughs> yeah, we cleaned it out pretty good before we left Carrington Harbor, but we'll do it again. Sounds like a V8. <laughs> don't worry, we have a spare. Okay, let's go get some more. The saga continues. Was okay. First of all, this the button up or down can be rotated. Okay. All right. That's great. So you don't have to worry about that when you're thinking through this process. Yeah. Right? All right. So you got to worry about the door. Okay. So I was sitting here. I'm thought, oh, I don't want the hinge facing me on this side. I will, I'll put the hinge on this side. Right. Yeah. So, that makes sense. Yeah. And then I'll line it up. I chose to line up the arrow with the. This is probably a mistake, but with the <laughs> sealant on the teak. So the switch is going to sit, okay. as you can see, I've got yep. it all ready to go. I've just got to paint. It would sit like this, as I've done it so far. Mm -hmm. 
But then I was thinking about, and now of course oh the gypsy. God, stop the, thinking. <laughs> the gypsy is right here, right? Correct, yeah. I'm dropping here, gypsy's here. So I thought this is underneath that. And so I'm standing, doing my thing here, right? Mm-hmm. Usually I'm crouched because I got to work with this. I got to work out here. I got to clean the chain. And yeah, so I'm doing all hitting, the motions. I'm not hitting this. Yep. Okay, so that so that was why it's done like that so far. But then I'm thinking that I'm still closer to this cover than if the cover was over here, for one thing. Mm -hmm. That makes more sense now that I thought through where I'm actually standing. Oh God. Um, so what does this mean? And that so the cover should go that way. And then the other thing is we're going to be taking the teak off. At some point, yep. And hopefully not too not too distant future. So. Then at that point, me lining this up with the teak doesn't really make sense. But so you've that, already that drilled all like the that. holes and done everything. Right. So I lose about, you know, well, not that much, half a day or something to, to change this. But now, they, but now you have to fill all those holes again that you drilled? Uh, yeah, those are so small. That, that's very easy. Thick and epoxy. That's, that's not, not really difficult at all. Of course, it's off center. For the wires. Yeah. If this was center, we could just turn this around and be done with it. Yeah. But because of this freaking thing is just nothing awesome. is straightforward ever um then i have to put it over here so what i'll do is i'll drill for that first and get this in place all the way flat on the deck then i can mark the holes perfectly and then drill those out so why can't we just keep it how it is like this yeah doesn't that seem like not as good to you seems like you might be overthinking it really Okay. Shocker. Time for a poll. <laughs> so, we're not going anywhere, so it's not the end of the world. Yeah, but it's it just, just cost me like a day of screwing around. And a but bunch of stir sticks and cups and all the materials and That doesn't matter. Yeah, I think it I think it needs to go this way. That's the way that it should be installed on the bow. I made a mistake. What? But I can fix it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> What? <laughs> but you're the Captain Jeffy. This is unbelievable. <laughs> well, before you get to thinking anymore. Another cup of coffee. Yeah, coffee and some breakfast. Yeah. Breakfast has now been served. Oh yeah, definitely. Just throw an egg on any leftovers from dinner the night before. It turns into breakfast. By the way, this is my sitting setup here with my foot on a sail. <laughs> Jeff's over on that side. She could have sat right here, <laughs> but she chose that. I like my little nook over here. It's comfy. It's my little space. Well, the captain won. <laughs> it was my opinion not to change it. Captain wanted it changed. Captain won. I just think it makes more sense to do it this way. And since I'm the one doing the work twice, here we are. So under the blue tape is the new holes I guess that I'm so. protecting. And uh, I'm going to put thickened epoxy in the other hole that I drilled and then back on track for painting tomorrow and then sealing and all that stuff. Uh, it's the project that never ends. Uh, <laughs> so this is what it looks like now. And so that's how it's going to be. I like this more because now this door is out of the way. I'm just waiting for this thing to finish setting up and then I will paint this area white. Uh, and then I will put some of the more of this teak decking sealant uh, around here and then at the end of the day you'll just be looking at that nicely in line with the bow and everything so there we go that's where we're at and there's there is actually one point I want to add about this too I was about three quarters done let's say and I realized I wanted different and this project's been not frustrating but very time-consuming all new to me in terms of dealing with epoxy and putting a core material in there and doing a good job, blah, blah, blah. And I'm happy with where I'm at so far, but right when I was about to start putting some paint on here and going to the next step, I realized, you know what? I didn't think this properly through at the beginning. And so I had to like swallow my pride and go the direction I wanted to go, just which is in this case, just switching the switch around. But anyway, um, I know I'm gonna be happy with the result and able to sleep at night because I'm that anal. The countdown is on. We're trying to get everything done before we leave the boat and go to Thailand, but the weather is not cooperating very well. Jeff has a bunch of things that he has to get done. He's out there. You can't really see him, but he's out there. He's working with a nice sunset. Fingers crossed we had it all done in time.
Jeff has given me the very important job of shaking the white epoxy paint that he's going to be using. Carefully marking the area so that we only paint the parts we want to paint. In this contraption, Jeff created here a box with the hole cut out down there, and light? then we can spray paint in there. <laughs> you don't have any light on if you don't. What a smart guy. Okay, let's put that box back there. Okay, and leave this here like that. We're in a bit of a windstorm, so hopefully that'll keep it all sealed tightly. <laughs> Next time on Sailing Girl Um There's two things to use. There's matte and there's gloss. Okay, so it's like, you know, how do I want this to look? So we're gonna go around the yard and give out some cookies to some of the people that we've met along the way so far here. Cookie delivery! <laughs> So I tried cutting my hair myself. I didn't do a very good job, so I need Jeff's assistance. See, that looks pretty good, right? We are doing our packing. Okay, Joko, you're all packed up, ready to chill out by yourself for the summer.